Hello everyone, my name is Sophia. I'm a freshman at New York University studying collaborative art at Tisch. In this video, I'll be sharing a little bit about my journey so far and also why NYU is not for me. Let's get started. First of all, one of the reasons I'm leaving is because of my major. As I just mentioned, I go to collaborative arts at the Tisch School at NYU. What my major does is basically it combines all the facilities at Tisch and focuses on merging all these different fields of art like film, drama, screenwriting, like just any kinds of performance art disciplines that you could think of. I just couldn't choose which area that I wanted to focus on by the end of when I was applying to universities, so I chose this major. It's a really interesting major and a relatively new major. It's only four years old, but it's really different from what I expected. I don't know if it's just my major or it's everything about America schools. It all feels like is more advertised than it actually is. As good as it sounds on their website, I feel like when you actually go through this first year of curriculum, which for me was dancing, art history, film for the first semester, and I learned screenwriting, playwriting, music, producing music, and technology stuff for second semester. You're learning so much stuff, but you're not actually learning anything that's really deep if that makes any sense. Especially coming from a high school that has a lot of resources available to me, I felt almost like I'm not challenged enough in university. Like the stuff I learned back in high school was way harder than what I'm doing right now. Okay, sorry for interrupting, but I just realized that I speak of my major as if it's completely negative, but actually a lot of my peers really loved it. I also think it's a really good undergrad experience for people who want to try out all kinds of different arts, but it's just not the undergrad experience that I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a separate video on collaborative art this major if anyone is interested. Also, one last advice for people who are deciding between majors. It's important to look into the actual uh, mandatory courses that you need to take throughout your school year to see what exactly you're learning. One of my biggest regrets is not doing enough research and talking to enough people who actually go into this major to figure out what exactly they're learning. So I kind of, I look at the course, uh, the major description of collaborative arts on NYU Tisch website and I kind of just romanticized a version of what it would be like to go go into this major, which is different from what I expected. I will be actually transferring to a different university, but I'll keep it a secret for now. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys in the next video. Now moving on to second. The second reason that I'm moving out of New York is because of financial reasons. I think this is an aspect of university that people at least in my high school because I come from a relatively private high school so people don't really acknowledge how expensive going to America universities are especially when you don't have any financial aid or scholarships I only realized how expensive NYU is until I saw the bill I was honestly shocked when everything adds up together like tuition, dorms, food, and ex living expenses and everything. It's not just NYU, but New York City in general is a very expensive city. Especially, I think, when you consider the things that you learn in classes, a lot of it can be actually learned online. For example, in one of my music classes, even though I love that class, my professor just sent me like YouTube videos to watch and from that, I learned the, the things I need to use for the, my homework, which feels kind of like a waste of money when you can learn all of these online with little or no money and then you have to pay 90000 a year. 
Yeah, in total. Yeah. Like, 个十百九万 ，Yeah. Ninety thousand. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait! What? That's my my bill is ninety thousand. Like everything, including dorm. dorm. That's so crazy. Is it because like your your family income is higher, so they pay more? No, it's just it's everyone. Like everyone pay that much in New York, NYU, because it's the most expensive oh, schools. That's crazy. I know. I think it's really important to balance like the amount of things you're learning and the actual money you're paying. So if it's worth it, sometimes I feel like these America schools are just trying to extract money out of you. So they advertise all these school lives to make it appeal to you. In a way, it is a business. I think. All right. The last point I'm gonna talk about is the cultural aspect. I think New York City is probably one of the most diverse and international city of the world. However, it's still nested in America. I personally is not the biggest fan of America culture. I feel like people just do everything too much here. I was born and I studied until grade four in China, and I moved to. Vancouver, Canada, for high school. So I'm relatively familiar with North America culture. However, I still experienced like a minor cultural shock when I moved here because people were just so much more meaner here compared to Canadians. So even if I have lived in North America more than almost at almost ten years, I feel like my core values are still very. Asian. Most of my closest friends are all Asian, and the friends that I make at universities are either international or Chinese. So I don't know why. Maybe it's just a personal experience, but I think I bond better with international friends. Oh, one thing that I want to add is、um, I I really don't like the hookup culture in America. It's something that I was introduced in. High school and people around me were kind of doing it. I don't know. I don't think it's something that I personally want to be a part of. And even though I can choose which value I stick to and which kind of people I want to hang out with,、um, I feel like you're inevitably influenced by the mainstream society, and I just don't want to be in this environment anymore. So that's one of that's one of the other core reasons I'm moving out. Overall, I think New York is still an amazing city, especially for those who want to study art. It is so vibrant, always so energetic.、Um, there's always museums you can go to, shows you can go watch. Like 365 days, every day there's something new to do. I feel very fortunate to be able to experience this as a young person. To live one year in the greatest city on earth, but considering the amount I learned at New York University and the tuition I'm paying, I just think it's not worth it anymore. It's time for me to go to my next chapter. I already accepted my offer to another university, which I will be moving into for the upcoming fall semester. Anyways, thank you guys. For listening to my journey so far, please let me know if you have any questions or comments about New York schools or NYU in general. Comment below, and I'll try my best to answer. Thank you, guys, and bye.